What's up everybody? Brock here and today I'm back with another comic book haul but before I get into that it's been a while since I've done a shout out on my channel so I want to do one today and today's shout out is going to be for and the reason I wore the shirt is going to be for actual Dracula. So this is not an actor Christopher Lee playing Dracula. This is the actual Dracula. <laughs> But no, seriously, um, actual Dracula is somebody that I've gotten to know in live chat, various live chats and stuff like that, specifically on Kung Fu's channels and stuff like that. So uh, recently found out that he had started a YouTube channel. He's only got a couple videos, but I literally just watched his most recent video and it was hilarious. Like I was literally LOLing, not like when you put LOL, but you're really not. But yeah, go check out his channel. I'll link it down below. As of filming this, he's at 49 subs. So he's just one away from that first, you know, kind of milestone. But yeah, really funny guy. Really entertaining videos. So go check it out. Especially the, the last video he just did. I I was dying. It was, it was funny. So anyway, I'm going to get into this comic book haul. It's been a while since I've been to the comic book shop. So I finally made a trip and... Basically just wanted to share what I picked up. So first one we got. So that is Classic X-Men number 10. Um, so these the Classic X-Men are reprints. But a lot of the uh, issues have original covers. So I bought that specifically for the Juggernaut cover. So, you know, it's a dollar book. But it was one that I needed for my Juggernaut books. So uh, next one. We got 2099 Unlimited number one. So I do believe that is the first appearance of Hulk 2099. Kind of cool to find that. And we found number two for the 2099 Unlimited. All right, and the next ones, um, it was actually a full uh, mini series that I found. So I was kind of happy to find that. So I won't go through, like, you know, I'll show all of them, but just real quick. So we got the Full Killer 90s miniseries. So we got number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, number seven, number eight of the Spider-Man on the cover, number nine, and number ten. So really happy to find that full miniseries. I don't know if it was originally intended as a miniseries or if this series got canceled. I believe it was a miniseries. Yeah. Yeah, because each individual issue says part whatever of ten. Derp. So yeah. That was cool, yeah, to find a whole uh, mini-series. So, next one. Found Darker Image number one, and it's a newsstand. So, I already have a direct copy of this book, but the newsstand um, usually goes for, you know, like 15 or 20 bucks because the newsstands in these were uh, much more scarce. So, depending on what you go by, this is the first, it is the first appearance of a few characters, but most notably the Max, but technically the Max's first appearance was in Primer number five, which is kind of like an indie grail. But if you go by like the CGC labels, this actually lists the first appearance of the Max and Primer five calls it the first appearance of Max the Hare. So if you know anything about the Max, like it is the same character basically, but yeah, still cool to find that in a newsstand, so. All right, and found Legends of the Dark Claw number one. So that is from the Amalgam Comics. Uh, this was the basically the mashup of Batman and Wolverine. And there was actually two issues um, for Dark Claw. There was Legends of the Dark Claw, and then there was Dark Claw Adventures, which was sort of a take on the... Uh, 
Batman animated series at the time. All right, we've got Dark Horse Comics number 12. So just pretty, pretty awesome uh, painted uh, Predator cover there. Kind of cool to find that. And to go with that one, we got Dark Horse Presents number 34. So we got the Aliens cover. And number 35. So Predator cover. They did not have 36. Uh, I, I do have a copy of 36, so that's cool. All right, and the next couple books were directly related to my buddy Comic Fu recently posted a video about some horror spec books that he was doing. And it was, I don't want to ruin his video if you haven't watched it. So go watch his video. But basically it was involving eight like 80 slashers. Slasher characters, I should say. So I'm a big fan of horror, obviously, as well as comic books. So it got me thinking about, you know, what else was out there. And, you know, I kind of had a discussion with Fu. He did say that he went and picked these books up when I talked about them. But I actually found both of these at the comic book shop literally the day after we had the conversation. So first up, we got Satan's Six, number four. So this was from Topps Comics. Yes, Topps also did comics at one point. But this was from a miniseries by Jack Kirby. And it's basically there's a dual first appearance in comics of Jason Voorhees. So they did a three issue miniseries from Topps as well. That was the movie adaptation of Jason Goes to Hell. And this book actually came out the same month and year. I think it was July of 1993 as the number one of the Jason Goes to Hell series. And essentially what happens in this book is like, it's not a Jason book, but one of the characters like summons Jason Voorhees. So kind of interesting. And what was cool was I was rebagging and boarding these and this is actually still polybagged with the trading cards. So that, that was pretty cool. So another one that I immediately thought of when he was doing his slasher character video was Leatherface. So I got to thinking, like, what would Leatherface's first appearance in comics be? And sure enough, I looked it up and I ended up finding the issue at the comic shop. So Leatherface, number one, from North Star Comics. And this was from 1991. So another really cool painted cover. And this was from a four-issue uh, miniseries. However, they only had issue number one. I would have picked up the whole miniseries had they had it. But, yeah, for some reason, I just randomly found this. So that was cool. Big fan of that cover. All right. And next up, found Creatures on the Loose, number 36, featuring Manwolf. So kind of cool. I dig Manwolf, so that's cool to find, though. And we got... Number 37, Creatures on the Loose. Another man wolf story. All right, next we're going to get into some of the better stuff I found throughout the day. So I believe that comic book shop had recently purchased like a large spawn collection because I've been finding like spawn books at this comic shop. And they did have a bunch more, but I had already picked out a bunch of stuff. But I did find spawn number nine. So that's the first appearance of Angela. And this is one of those books that's like, it's not super expensive right now, but because she is a Marvel character now, you know, this is one of those, if you find it, pick it up. And, you know, it was, it was 15 bucks, so that's about, you know, the going rate for it. Uh, the next one I found was something I probably wouldn't have normally, like, looked for, but when I came across it, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So I picked it up, got... John Carter, Warlord of Mars, number one. So that was cool to find number one from Bronze Age. Um, and it is in immaculate condition, which is another reason I picked it up. I mean, it's, it is, I mean, it's perfect almost. So, cool. All right, and we're down to the last four. So they actually had three copies of this book, and... It was one that I didn't have, so 
I just kind of, they were all priced right around the same price. So I just grabbed one. Wolverine number 10. So uh, pretty awesome Wolverine and Sabretooth battle there. Dig that cover. Needed that for the Wolverine run as well. So, all right. And then the last three are going to be the best finds of the day. So these were on the wall. And actually, these three books, they've been on their wall for a while. And I don't normally do this, but I kind of made an offer on the three as kind of as a whole. And um, so, yeah, she, uh, the, the comic shop owner actually accepted the offer. So, and once you see the first one, you'll probably know what the other two are. We got Power Man and Iron Fist, number 84. So that is the fourth appearance of Sabretooth. And we've got Power Man, Iron Fist, number 78. So third appearance of Sabretooth. And Power Man and Iron Fist, number 66. So that is the second appearance of Sabretooth. And I have the first bits of Sabretooth, so very cool to find those. And all three of them were in the newsstand editions, and they're all really high grade. So really happy to find that. was super stoked that she uh, let me make an offer on those. I mean, I obviously spent quite a bit of money that day, so and I go in there a lot. So I was like, yeah, let's see what happens if I just kind of throw out a, an offer and see what, see what she does. So. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love seeing comments down on the videos. I'm always trying to respond to comments. So uh, let me know what you think of the haul, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.